these next three weeks, what I wait for all year, big drop in temps. This week right here is when some of the biggest deer in the country is going to get killed. So my dad got me into hunting at a very young age and growing up in the Carolinas, we didn't have a whole lot to go after. I mean, we were hunting spikes and four pointers, but I still instantly fell in love with the entire process, uh, the patience it taught me. And when I shot my first deer, I was instantly addicted to whitetail um, and the entire grind of whitetail hunting. And I've spent the last 30 years chasing that same feeling I got as a little kid. So I've definitely went through a lot of changes as a bow hunter chasing whitetails from that little kid in the Carolinas um, to now looking at one of the largest whitetails I've ever passed in my life standing in front of me. And I can't help but think back and wonder if that little kid would be mad at me for letting this deer go or super excited and proud of how far we've come and the places we get to go. But at the same time, I'm a risk taker and I know what's walking around in these woods and I'm willing to take the chance and let this deer go. We hunted day after day in Illinois. I mean, we grinded set after set, daylight till dark, and just never saw the deer we were hoping to see and went straight to Nebraska from there. That is what it feels like to get your butt kicked because we were going home with tags in our pockets. Most people are very surprised to hear that the Midwest is not my favorite whitetail rut destination. Um, but when I started hunting the Mississippi River Delta 10 or 15 years ago, um, I just fell in love with it. There's just so many bucks um, if you're right on this Mississippi River that the rut is always special. The one thing about it though is it is probably the hardest grind for us of the year. Just no breaks, no minute off. Um, it's such a big, vast area of swamp that rain, shine, wind, doesn't matter. Uh, we're out there and we're toughing it out because you never know when one of these giants are going to come slipping up out of that swamp. Well, this is as good as it gets for a rut spot. Yeah, 
That's a job. Just dumping blood. He's dead. He's dead. Hey. It's been a long rut. But we've got a giant on the ground now. You know, it'll never not be a big deal to me uh, to put my hands on a deer like this. Um, there'll always be a giant to me just because of where I came from and that little kid I talked about that I used to be in the Carolinas hunting years and never seeing a deer like this, just dreaming of it, watching all the big guys on TV, all the VHS tapes, thinking one day I'm, I, wanna, I wanna see a deer, I wanna hunt a deer like that. So every time I put my hands on a big whitetail now, I can't help but feel grateful, blessed, humbled, um, and excited just to be able to do this for a living and uh, to have fun with the people I love and uh, look forward to doing this year after year.